and uh, the the, uh, the people that are taking care of it, some of the police and so forth, and they're walking around, and the people are talking and looking, and isn't that lovely, and so forth. <laughs> and then finally, the policeman gets his speaker up, and he said, folks, it's closing time, so we'll be leaving soon. He's telling them to get ready to go. All right, so little by little, um, they're leaving. Now, the maid comes in. What do they call her? Cleaning lady? Yeah, other than that, they have another word in Europe. She has a bucket with all her material. She comes in and she puts it down. She's fascinated with this. She looks around and they're finally clearing out so there's nobody can see her. She walks right into this road and she goes up the road and up to that house. Outside is standing a gentleman, very handsome guy, with a magnificent dog, and he's smoking his pipe, and he says, good evening, and she says, good evening. And they have a chat, and he said, would you like a cup of tea? And she says, that would be lovely. So in they go, they go in the house, and they chat a little, and she said, oh my God, oh, I gotta get back to work. So she hurries out, she rushes down the road, she steps right back into the museum and uh, looked around. Nobody saw her, and she's working away. This goes on for a week, because she comes to work, you know. And then one day, the policemen are looking, where is she? She fell in love with him, he with her, and they stayed there in that house. But it was unbelievable. I'm watching TV, and there it was. And I said, Daddy, like a little kid, you know, I was so excited. Did you hear that? That's like a painting. That was the story. But it's incredible how it all happened. I have such an attachment to this because I remember that whole thing. She slept, she stepped out, and she went in. They fell in love, she came back, she worked and back and forth. After one full week, decided, he told her, why don't you stay with me? But isn't that cute? And I just adore it. <laughs>